Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com hourly analysis for the S&P 500 for Wednesday, February the 23rd, 2011. The market opened the, the uh, day's trading with a red-bodied candle and that red-bodied candle was testing the uh, potential support down around the 1312 region. The following candle was a green-bodied candle and actually gave us a harami type pattern uh, this was a potential bullish reversal pattern and that's where the body of the current candle is engulfed by the body of the previous candle. No change of trend at that point in time, the trend was still down. And the idea is that we look for a higher high and a higher low when we have a potential reversal pattern. That reversal pattern failed uh, because we didn't take out the high and we didn't make a higher high and a higher low. The market subsequently uh, followed in the next hour of trading with a very bearish red body candle, a large red body candle, which penetrated into this large region of uh, support that we highlighted with this yellow box. And we can see here back at this previous trading where the market uh, attempted to trade above the upper boundary of that found support down the bottom of that. But if we look at all of this type of trading in here, it's very indecisive trading with a lot of small bodied candles and uh, shadows on the top and the bottom of these candles. So uh, it's a very uh, strong area of uh, potential support. Now, the market did eventually find support down in that area. And the market uh, was trending down in the first time frame. Uh, once again, we had this harami type pattern. That's this green uh, uh, colored pattern, a little bit like a, um, a hammer reversal pattern as well. And we had this very strong shadow on the bottom of the candle and the previous candle, and that represented buys coming in. So we started to see the sellers starting to lose some of the power that they had throughout the uh, trading day and the previous few trading days. Uh, green body candle potential for a reversal, and we had that reversal with a large green body candle that actually traded outside the top of the um, area of a potential uh, support so that's now acting uh, as uh, or it was, had potential to act as resistance and the market just blew it away with a very strong red body candle however in the final hour of trading we still had a continuation of the trend to the upside with a, the market making a higher high and a higher low but a red body candle now this uh, red body candle closed down towards the low for that final hour which means that the sellers actually close that final hour in control. So we do need to be on the lookout for a potential lower high and lower low when we open that first hour of trading uh, in um, tomorrow morning session. Now, with regard to the Ichimoku clouds, we are still trading down below the clouds, so we, the market maintained its overall negative bias on the hourly charts. The market's also trading below the Kijun Sen, and the, Ken the Tenkan Sen only just. So the market is negative in the medium term time frame and slightly negative, more so neutral because it's very close to the Tenkan Sen in the fast term time frame. If we look at the Kijun Sen, the Kijun Sen has turned flat. And when the Kijun Sen turns flat, it tends to attract price action. And that's what's happened in these previous two or three candles. The price action is being attracted back towards there. Because of that, we do need to watch the high of the current candle for a potential um, continuation of the uptrend. So if we do uh, see a bullish uh, bar in that first hour of trading, then there is potential for the market to trade up to around 13.22, where we have uh, potential resistance offered by the Kijun Sen, and then certainly up to the bottom of the cloud and this area of previous support and resistance, which is around 13.25. So there is potential for the market to retrace all the way back up there. However, though, we did say that we, we do have this um, um, red body candle for the final hour of trading, so we do need to watch the low of that candle for a potential test down within this area of potentially strong resistance again. And certainly we have uh, good support extending down to around just below the 1300 level. So we know the 1300 level is uh, a round number, so that by itself will offer potential support and that's exactly what's happened here in this hour of trading where we saw that saw the buyers coming in so that was an area where the buyers decided that the market was value again round numbers are very significant to uh, to all markets 
just looking at the Chiku span here too, that's this grain line, and we compare that to the corresponding price action, and it's below, and that's confirming the negativity that we're seeing in the market in the longer term time frame. So uh, we have our areas to look for for tomorrow's opening of uh, trading, the high of the current candle, the uh, low of the previous for any potential sell-off. Uh, the market is uh, trending down in the second time frame, trending up in the first time frame, uh, but there is potential for the market to continue the trend down in the second time frame as well.